questions of topics okay kasturka can you see see my ppt today i am explaining about your user variables uh, user variables are used in data farms runtime pamphlets business rules smart views what what is the uses of the user variables user variables are used to uh, restrict the da data for uh, certain entities for the users where what are the difference between uh, user variables and substitution variables where user variable in your uh, user variables your uh, user variables users can uh, uh, change the entities for, as per the requirements where in substitution variables users cannot change they have to ask for the administrator for the changes what is is used for user variables over the substitution variables where you need uh, specific data for a certain entity where then user variables are used for example we need a certain uh, uh, employee uh, data then uh, user variables are used for the, for that how we can create user variables i will show, now i will show you how we we will create user variables click on navigator click on variables when you click on add here we can create new user variables where we can click on di which dimension we needed and now we give a username and we give a, what type of entities we needed and you click here to save after that we go to the user preference as you can see when you specifically created it we need to give here is the what type of numbers we need to give otherwise it will, it will not work i will okay now user variables are used in data farms i will show you how user variables are used in data farms you click on farms click on library test you can edit layouts as pre previous is let click on here edit and click on where variables i already taken the uh, created uh, user variable here test one previously i told about user preference now i will show you what will happen if we don't give the members in the user preference you can okay and click the yeah, farms and click on test click on here click on preview and click on here save selector okay where it is Okay. 
As you can see, I don't give, give the members here. We, I will show you how what will happen after that. Click on forms. Click on edit layout. Click here. I'm removing this and test for uh, newly created test for save. Review. Uh, as you can see, this uh, type of error will be shown. We have to uh, once you, when you create user variables, we we have to go to the user preference and click on what type of members in in there. Otherwise, uh, we, we cannot use them. Okay. Click on here. I remember it. These are uh, these are the uh, test one is uh, where I click. Uh, already selected the user variable click on ok you can say ok you can't preview as you see it is working whenever uh, we need other uh, other entities we don't need to uh, go back to the your user preference other than we click on here other options and click on your dynamic user variables enable the dynamic user variables uh, and click on test one and click on uh, save and preview and click here it will show you here uh, option here where you can uh, click other entities for it we, for our preference click on here click ok as you can see it already change whatever uh, by our preference we can uh, easily change here uh, by here by using dynamic user variables we don't need to go to the user variables for that okay. these are the users for the user variables in data farms well i will have uh, Uses of user variables in runtime pamphlets. Uh, how we create user variables in runtime pamphlets and uh, user variables are used in business rules. I will show you that also. Uh, click on here, rules. Click on actions, variable designer, global. Click on here. When you're creating new new runtime pamphlets, you uh, click on here action, click on here new, then we will be able to create new one. Already created it. Uh, and we need to give we need to give na name and what type of uh, types, what type of I created here, click here members and our dimensions. After that, we need to enable the, this option. Uh, then only we be able to give the limits here. After we need to give us some text and click here to save. This is how we will create runtime pamphlets. Now the runtime pamphlets are used in business uh, rules. 
I will show you that also. In the while showing our business rules, it here. Click here rules, business rules. Uh, for creating new business rules, we create here. Click here action and no object. Then we are able to create new business rules by uh, business rules. Click here open. Okay. How users where we are using business rules by hard coding the entities using user variables of the entities and using uh, sub variables of the entities and using a uh, runtime pamphlets. I will explain you now about the business rules where I already give the co coding for the uh, user variables and sub variables here. This is for the runtime pamphlets. After that, we can save it and validate it. Let's see, there is no errors here. You can see uh, runtime pamphlets here also. This is how you use it in the biz, uh, uh, user variables and business rules. Okay. Now, user variables are used in smart view. I will explain about user variables used in smart view. Okay, go to smart view. Okay, click on panel. Click on share link. After logging in, we need to click here, refresh. Click on uh, options here. Then we need to click here to enable the, uh, the different, uh, different options and click OK. Then. Library test, test Oops. Well, using in here, we click on arms. Uh, in USS uh, sales, I click on West sales now. Uh, East sales now. I clicking on West sales. Okay, click on here. You are you had seen here also. When uh, we click on refresh, as you can see, this also changes here also. This is how you use it in uh, Smart View. And user variable, uh, now I just conclude user variables are used in data farms, runtime pamphlets, business rules, and smart view. Hello, customer.